Hi, I'm Kevin. And I'm Heather. And we're vlogging today and we're gonna take you guys with us. We've got so much that we wanna show you. We haven't vlogged in a really long time. And so we're bringing you on our day. Uh, we're fixing mixers. Well, we're seeing what's wrong with mixers. All right, we're taking apart mixers. Because yeah, as, as a dear friend of ours says, King Game, we're broke. <laughs> <So> <laughs> yeah, that's right. I love like, I'm, I'm gonna, that's gonna be my philosophy in life now when something's broken. I'm like, can't make it any more broke. Can't make it any we'll more just broke. just take apart and see what's going on. <laughs> We're gonna show you chicken stuff. We're gonna clean up the yard. Maybe Cookie Friday. It, oh! Get pork tacos. Oh yeah. So, you're coming with us. Yeah, it's cold out here. I'm in my bare feet. Let's get moving. All right. All right. Field plants are just resilient. They just keep coming back. Our chickens pecked this one clean and looked. Look, it's got new sprouts coming out and it's gonna grow back. So we've decided that we're gonna keep kale going all winter long and use it to feed the chickens. So the Labor Day blizzard left a lot of branches and stuff all over our yard. So we're gonna clean those up today. It's a little bit, uh, it was a little bit crazy. So we didn't get a chance to get out here and really clean it up yet. So that's what we're gonna do today too. So a lot of the extra sticks that we're finding around the yard, we're saving, we're gonna let them dry out and use them as kindling uh, for uh, starting fires because winter is coming in Wyoming. It is a balmy 43 degrees this morning. And uh, I think our high today is supposed to be 80, but then over the next few week, uh, few days, it's just gonna get colder. And I think we go into the 70s and I think we go into a couple other areas they're gonna be cold so we might as well get ready for some of that now there's a lot of preening going on right now hmm very nice tragedy has happened the worst case scenario that could ever happen to the going baddie clan has happened the 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 the, the mixer that all of our food gets mixed on Right here. It's a Cuisinart thing, right? No, it's KitchenAid. KitchenAid, sorry. The mixer broke. And just so you know, like I'm the only person in the world that I think has broken two KitchenAid mixers. I don't know what I'm doing except I use it all the time, but um, I think what has happened is that, oh, it's the wrong way, that the, the gear may be stripped or broken. So we're gonna see if we can crack into this thing and see what's going on. So if you ever wondered what the inside of a KitchenAid mixer looks like. Yep. Yeah, you know. Let's get in there a little closer so we can really see. Yeah, so I gotta... Ooh. Yeah, unhook stuff. I think just a little engine in the front. Yeah, because up here you can hear it. It's like it's not. It go click, 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 and it won't. The the beater won't move. It's like grinding or something. It's not grinding. It's almost like that. Maybe there's a gear, like a tooth on the gear broken off. Oh, okay. You've got a bad transmission. <laughs> I think so, Kev. Wasn't that basically what it is? I don't know. So that's the inside. That's a lot of grease. Oh, it is. And the grease is really... Greasy. Yeah. So something is not turning right in here. So I'm not sure. All right. So we've we exposed the gears. Now we just got to figure out how to get to the one that we feel is skipping, right? Yep. That popped right out. Yep. The teeth on that look okay? Yep. Mm -hmm. So that's the inside of a KitchenAid mixer. Everything works on it, but we've got some skipping that's going on yeah. with the gears. 
And so Heather's and taking it to apart figure to figure out if she can fix it or not. It's hard to see, but right there where those little teeth are, there Heather put her finger. Her finger's it's, covering it's, them right now. It's rounded out. It it's, like it goes in like this. That's where it's skipping. Yeah. So if we have to replace anything, it's going to be the giant piece right it's, here. It, they're, they're not like that here. Yeah. So, and you can see it on the video. Wonder because so um, Heather's playing in the grease if you yeah. look at her hands. But everything, the teeth on this seem to be fine. And those gears drive are this. Yeah. And that's what makes it spin. So. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, like right here, it's, they're all like, yeah. it's like con concaved in yeah. instead of flat. So this, these, these small, let me see if I can see. These small gears are what it lines up with right here. And then this, this okay, right so. here goes on to right there. And the teeth on this are what's broken. Yeah. So the question is, do they sell that part? Yep. Is so, that the question or are you saying, yeah, they do? I, I believe they do. I think I found it on Amazon because if they don't, then I have to get a whole new mixer. So now that we know what part we need, we're gonna look on Amazon for it. We're gonna put this back together so we don't lose all of the parts to it. And we are going to uh, uh, shop for that part uh, on Amazon or the KitchenAid mixing store or somewhere and see if we can't buy a new part for it. It might be cheaper than trying to buy a brand new mixer. It's Cookie Friday! Yes! All right, so we are making snickerdoodles today. And I can't remember if I've made a video on snickerdoodles before, so. There may be a Cookie Friday video with Snickerdoodles, but I've made a lot of cookies. So we're just gonna go with it because <laughs> it's fall and that smell, that would be an awesome smell. Now I'm gonna have to go old school because I don't have my, my mixer. So I'm gonna have to do all of this by hand. So we're going pioneer style. So we have in our bowl, we have a cup of butter and then I'm doing one and a half cups of sugar and then we're going to cream that together and I'm going to do that with a wooden spoon. Farm fresh eggs. Yep. So we're going to put awesome. two eggs. And then we're going to put in two teaspoons of vanilla and this is the vanilla I made myself Heather's homemade vanilla and I've got another extract another, yeah vanilla extract I got a whole nother batch going right now for when this batch is done make them extra wow. vanilla -y. I like extra vanilla mm, vanilla there you go <laughs> I love vanilla all right here we go We're gonna do two and three fourths cups of flour. One. So that is our two and three fourths cups of flour. So we have the cream of tartar now. Yep. Yep, I have a fresh um, batch. Yeah, one and a half teaspoons of one that. And, oh, nice. That's and a... I'll um, leave the recipe in the description down below. So one and a half. There you go. And then we're going to put in our half teaspoon of baking soda, which I love these containers. My daughter got them for me for my birthday. And they're all uniform and the same size, and it makes it so much easier when you're putting stuff away in the pantry. <laughs> so there's that. And then we are going to do a teaspoon of salt. There we go, and then we're just gonna mix this together. We are going to take our dough, 
we're going to put it into like a disc shape and we're going to wrap it in plastic wrap and let it set in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. So. into the refrigerator it goes. We are going to measure out a fourth of a cup of sugar Oops. and then we're going to put some cinnamon in that. Um, like a half a teaspoon but if you like it more cinnamony -ny 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 -ny, cinnamon -ny 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 -ny. then um, you can put more in. I'm just going to shake mine in so, so we're going to just mix this up because this is the what we're going to roll our cookie dough in. We are now going to take, I use something like this because it, that way your cookies are even and they'll bake evenly. What is, what it's, is that? It's almost like a little, it's like a, just a little tiny scoop. It's a melon baller. No, yeah. it's a scoop. Yeah, so we're going to do that and then we're going to roll it in a ball till it's smooth and then we're going to roll it in the cinnamon and sugar. Then what do you do? And then you put it on the cookie sheet. Oh, you got so left handed. Huh? <laughs> See? Even I can do it. Dude! <laughs> We're going to put these in the oven at 350 degrees for 8 to 12 minutes. It just depends on your oven, depends on your altitude. So it depends on how crispy you want them. Do you want them chewy? Do you want them crispy? So we're going to set it for eight and check them at eight minutes. All right, these are ready. They're kind of, they're set on the outside edges. We like ours kind of chewy in the middle. So we're going to let these set on the pan for about five minutes before we put them onto the cooling rack. Oh, oh my goodness. What is that on my table? Those are snickerdoodles. Uh, it's the end result of a snicker and a doodle. Combined when you not take like a snicker a, and a doodle. Not like a labradoodle. Not like a labradoodle, a, snickle, a snickerdoodle. Yep. All right, that's awesome. Well, we've got more to vlog, so. Onward and upward. Next. <laughs> we are gonna get started on dinner now. So we're having pork tacos for dinner and I'm gonna do it in my Instapot. And I'm gonna show you what I'm doing here. I'm just gonna run through it real quickly. Um, I'll, again, try to leave the recipe in the link down below so that you guys have the recipe for it, but I'm just gonna show you what I'm doing. This is the rep for our pork, and it has cilantro, black pepper, chili powder, cumin, oregano, and salt in it. So we're gonna sprinkle that all over our pork, and then we're going to put it, the pork in the Instapot. And this is about a three pound, um, like shoulder pork roast. Make sure we get some on every little piece. We're just gonna to toss it all together here. Make sure everything is covered really well. And then we're gonna go ahead and put it in our Instant Pot. I've washed my hands and now we have our onions and our garlic here. We're gonna go ahead, scoop this over a little bit here. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna throw this in there too. And then here, I have my orange juice, my lime juice, and my chicken broth. And we're gonna put those in. So we're gonna do this pressure cook. It's gonna be on the high setting. And we're going to do it for 90 minutes. And we're just gonna let it go. Make sure that your vent is back so that it's not venting out all your steam. It looks good. It does. It smells good too. <laughs> oh man. All right. Oh, and it's like falling apart. Wow. So we'll just 
just have to shred this up. That smells incredible. That is amazing. <clears throat> the seasoning that you put on that, it just makes the whole the whole beef just stand out, babe. Awesome. It's amazing. All right, um, I need to get some forks and then I'm gonna shred this up. And it just, I mean, it shreds super easy. That awesome, now here's mine. All right, here, hold your plate up next to it. So there you go. Yep. I've got sour cream, pulled pork, uh, salsa verde, green green tomato salsa verde, uh, guacamole, uh, radishes, a little bit of cheese, a little bit of red onion, and uh, I think that's it. Yep. I think that's what I put on there. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna chow down on these. Yep. Here, would you like to share my plate with me? Yeah. Well. <laughs> All right. So. Hold them up tight. Isn't that awesome? It looks amazing, doesn't it? All right. It was super easy. So here we go. Mm. Mm. That is good. That is good. Mm -hmm. That's a win right there. Mm -hmm. The beef, the beef, the pork is fantastic. It's cooked all the way through. Falls, falls apart in your mouth. Melts in your mouth. Yeah. The other flavors just pop. There, mm -hmm. it's a great. It's really good. A great food to so you guys thanks for watching our video tonight all the different things that we did today don't forget to like subscribe comment and as always more updates as we go more updates as we go bye, bye.